Here, we'll go through an example of balancing a half reaction in acid solution. We're asked to balance the half reaction Fe3O4 gives Fe, taking place in acid solution. We'll write Fe3O4 here on the left side, and Fe on the right side here. We've left some room for adding other things. We start by balancing atoms that are neither oxygen nor hydrogen. In this example, it is the atoms of iron we must balance. We see we have three iron atoms on the left and only one on the right. So to balance iron, we add a three here in front of the Fe. So now we have three Fe atoms on both sides. Our next step is to balance oxygen atoms. We have four oxygen atoms on the left side and none on the right side. The rule for balancing oxygen atoms is, for every excess O on one side, we add one H2O to the other side. So we add four H2O to the right side. Notice that now we have four oxygen atoms on both sides, so oxygen atoms are balanced. Our next step is to balance hydrogen atoms. To find the total number of H atoms in 4H2O, we multiply hydrogen subscript 2 by the coefficient in front, which is 4. So we have a total of 4 times 2, or 8 hydrogen atoms, on the right side. The rule for balancing hydrogen atoms is, for every excess H on one side, we add 1 H plus to the other side. So we add 8H plus to the left side. Now we have 8Hs on both sides. Our last step is to balance charge. The charge on Fe304 is 0, and the total charge on 8H plus is positive 8. So the total ionic charge on the left side is 0 plus 8, which is equal to positive 8. Looking on the right side, we see that the total charges on the 3Fe and the 4H2O are both zero. So the total ionic charge on the right side is zero. In order to balance charge, we must add enough electrons to the more positive side to make the charges on each side equal. Because each electron has a negative charge, adding eight electrons to the left side will be needed to equalize the charges. So we add 8 electrons to the left side. And the total ionic charge on the left side is now 0 plus 8 plus negative 8, which add up to 0. So the charges are now balanced, being a total of 0 on both sides. Note here that charges on each side of a half reaction do not always have to be 0. They just need to be equal to each other. This half reaction is now balanced. Whenever you finish balancing any equation, it always pays to double check atoms and charge at the end. We see that there are three Fe atoms on both sides, four oxygen atoms on both sides, and eight H atoms on both sides. And the charges on both sides add up to the same value, so the charge is also balanced. Mm -hmm.